Hey guys, I'm Bobby. And I'm Brent. And today we're going to show you how to do a green screen effect Ooh. on After Effects. Okay guys, what's going on? I'm Bobby. I'm Brent. And today you're watching... Learning with Bobby and Brent. <laughs> okay, so first step to creating a green screen key. Ooh, I gotta get my notes. <laughs> Yes, we do need notes on these kind of things. It's not as easy as you think. Yes, refer to the cheat sheet. So the first thing we're going to do to create a green screen effect is grab a video of us in front of a green screen. So we're going to drag that into After Effects here. Okay. And we haven't used After Effects yet. Yeah, this is our first time doing a straight up uh, After Effects tutorial. So you guys are about to get learned. It's a whole new world, it's a whole new perspective. After Effects is very different from Premiere, yes. but they sort of go hand in hand. They're, yep. They work together, like a, they dance together. Absolutely. So after dragging our clip here into the project folder, mm -hmm. we're going to take it and then drag it down here onto the timeline. Oh, okay. And if you're not familiar with After Effects, this is going to look really crazy to you because what is this? What is this block? What is this, Bobby? I don't know. I mean, Explain it to it's me. It's just a block. So Explain it. it. The timeline on After Effects is very different than the timeline on Premiere. Yes. Um, so if you're just looking to do basic green screening, you can do that in Premiere, but this will give you a better effect. So you don't need to know a whole lot in After Effects in order to use it. Mm -hmm. So we'll make another video explaining and going over the basics of After Effects. Um, okay. But for now, we're just going to show you how to do a green screen effect. Cool. So, simple as that. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to select down here the file that we want to put a green screen effect on. Okay. So now, Brent, we go up to the top oh. and we clicked on the effect drop down up here. Ooh, okay. So we're going to go down to the keying effect and it's going to bring this other drop down menu. All right. And now we're going to go down to key light 1.2. Okay. So Keylight 1.2 is a plugin okay. that comes with After Effects. You don't have to go to any outside okay, source. Okay, so th this isn't like a third party thing, it's a... It's a plugin within After Effects. Okay, cool. So what nice. we can do is we can create the green screen effect and then manipulate it in a, such a way that will get us kind of a more specific green screen filter that we want. So first thing we have to do is click on this little eyedropper tool right here. Okay. And we're going to drag it onto the color that we want to key out. So, as you can see, something just happened. Mm -hmm. You were in front of a green background. Yep. Now you're in front of a black background. I know, it's very moody. So if we shut off the effect over here, you can see that that's what changes it makes. Okay. So let's scrub a little bit forward to where we're both in the shot here. Yes. So now the thing is, it's, it's, not, it's not quite there yet. You can see that there are lots of shadows in the background. You can still see the green screen, and we want it to be completely gone. So in order to do that, what we have to do is go into these effects and change a few things. Okay. The first thing that we're going to change is we're going to bump up the screen gain a little bit. So we're going to click okay. here, and we're going to drag to the right. Oh yeah, look at that. You can see it's starting to disappear more as you're doing that. It is. It's, it's taking away the background. It, we can either brighten it or, or darken it. As you can see, it, it, it does a good job of keying out the green, but there are a few problems still. Um, right, it seems like it's maybe taking away more than we want to right now. It is taking a little bit more than we want. It's kind of cropping out and it's kind of ruining the look that we want. So we're going to bring it to a pretty, I don't know, medium number here, like 180. We're going to go up here to the view panel and we're going to click this little button. It's going to bring a drop down menu and we're going to click on status. Okay. So what this oh. does is it kind of shows us in a different way what's going on here. Interesting. So the white is everything that's staying in the key. Okay. The black is everything that's getting keyed out. The gray is everything that's sort of transparent in the middle. So the goal here is we want to get rid of all the gray. We don't want that there because that's what's causing it to look kind of bad. So in order to remove the gray, uh, we're going to lower the screen balance to get some of our detail back. So we're going to lower the screen balance to about zero right now because that's getting rid of some of the gray. And now what we're actually going to do is we're going to click our screen mat here. So we're going to go to clip black and what we're going to do is we're going to click 25. Okay. That's a pretty standard number uh, that people use to 
clip the black so that the black shows up a little more. Okay. But we're also going to clip the white down to 75. Oh, wow, okay. You can see that that does, makes it a huge a difference. difference. Yeah. It kind of takes away all the gray. Mm -hmm. uh, so now we can, I don't know, we can kind of change it and, and try some different things out and see what happens. So now we've got it about 54 right now. So what we've done here is we've kind of taken the shapes of our bodies and made it as white as possible. And we are going to click fit right here. And now we're going to go back up to the view and we're going to return to final result. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to go into the screen softness and we're going to increase that. So what that's going to do is that's going to feather the uh, outlines and edges okay. so that they're not so rough and so rigid. Sure. So that's going to change it a little bit. So now if we look at the video, we see that it has a lot of a, a much cleaner look to it yeah. and it looks a lot better. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to create a background just to sort of see if we have any mistakes because you're wearing a shirt with some black checkers on it mm -hmm. so what we don't know is uh, if some of that black is actually you know peeking through right we don't want to be able to see the background through my shirt so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here and we're going to create a new solid okay and we're gonna create it doesn't matter what color and if you want to drag it down here below that will put it behind this. Okay. So these are layers essentially. So we were right, it actually did cause a bit of an issue here it's on your like shoulder. It's like a bite out of my shoulder. It does, it really does. It You're looks like by a zombie. you were bitten. This is, your half your shoulder's gone, I mean, come on. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is, um, we're actually gonna put a bit of a gradient ramp on our background. Okay. So if you go into the effects browser over here and type ramp, our gradient ramp effect will come up and we're gonna drag it way down here onto our white solid layer. So, as you can see, it creates this background and we're going to go in and make it a radial background and maybe change our black color to gray. So it's got a little bit better of a background and we're gonna click over here onto this little tool and we're gonna drag the center right down there. Okay. There we go. So now we've got a background. In order to fix this, we've got to go back into our key light editor and maybe play around with some of the different settings. So as you can see, if we bring the clip back black down all the way, what it's actually doing is it's getting rid of that shoulder thing and it's not really affecting the rest of the video, the keying. Uh, we can also do the same with the clip white. We can bring that down and you'll notice that it's actually just helping the video. It, at some point, you've got to kind of find a balance uh, because as you can see, bringing it all the way down really creates outlines that you don't want. But bringing it all the way up kind of removes some colors. So we have to find a balance somewhere a little bit in the middle. Okay. So I think that's looking pretty sharp. Okay, so now that we have showed you how to do the basic keying effect, we're going to go into our folder and we're just going to drag a picture into our project. And we're just gonna kinda show you what happens if you put a different background on. So we're gonna remove this white solid background. And we're gonna take the living room background. We have a picture of the living room here. Hmm. And there you go, we're, we're, we're now standing in a living room. I don't do my hands. <laughs> so do my with keying and green screens, it, it's really tough to get it right. Uh, it's not gonna be perfect every time, like we said. Mm -hmm. But if you really spend a lot of time on it, you can get it to look as good as you want, especially in After Effects with all right. these different tools to use. Yeah, definitely. Screen. And also, I mean, this was kind of like just an example we threw together. I mean, normally you would maybe spend a little more time getting your lighting perfect and stuff like that. So literally we threw this shot together in like two minutes. Yeah. And so like even at like that little bit of prep that, that we didn't really do, it still mm -hmm. looks pretty good. I yeah. Mean, now you know how to create a green screen effect using After Effects. Thanks for watching this episode, guys. Uh, we hope you tune in next week. We need your help. We're running out of ideas. <laughs> we don't know what to teach you. We don't know yes. what you want to learn. Yeah. So Help please. us to help you. Help. So yeah, exactly. Ask some questions. Leave comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. We will see you next week on Learning with Bobby and Brent. Hey guys, what's up? Brent's over here editing.
We just finished editing this episode of Learning. Now we're making an end plate. Thanks for watching this episode of Now You Know. Tune in next week for more episodes of Learning. Dance. I am Google. Na, 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 na. We're gonna give you a little tour. This is the uh, studio. And that's our green screen. That's what we just did the effect with. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Tune in next time. Now you know. Bam!